Children once trapped in their own world are swirling into the mainstream thanks to a breakthrough therapy happening right here in the Bay Area. All of our kids make progress. Um, it does depend on how early we get the child. So, I mean, the younger the child comes in for therapy, the better it's going to be. Um, if there's a lot of follow through at home, obviously, then we would have better results. But all of our kids are making progress. All of our kids are communicating. Some kids are using vocalization. Some kids are using sign language. But all of our kids are moving forward. Kelly Prince is the president of Behavioral Consulting and a skilled therapist. At her clinic, children formally diagnosed with autism spectrum go into 10, 20, even 30 hours a week of intense treatment. Because children with autism often can't communicate, therapists help them develop a love of language. Can you say banana? Banana. Nice try saying nana. Banana. Nana. Banana. Nana. 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 Nice job, buddy. Learning to communicate helps autistic children better control behavioral issues. It takes time. Can you touch the frog? Repetition and a lot of patience. See, I did it. I did. That's a great job. You did. I sat down with parent Patricia Taylor, whose son was diagnosed when he was just three years old. Charlie is already showing great promise. His mom believes he was genetically predisposed to autism, but also feels there are environmental issues. Because like many autistic children, Charlie did have intestinal issues. My son definitely has GI issues. We've, we're actually treating it now. He is on the gluten-free, casein-free diet, which, you know, he gets no gluten, no wheat, no dairy. Um, and he's been on that for three months. And we did see improvement with that. A new diet combined with aggressive therapy and time with a speech pathologist, Charlie now has the cards stacked in his favor to one day be mainstream. This past April, Governor Charlie Chris signed a new bill called the Window of Opportunity Act. It is designed to have the private insurance sector help offset the cost of early intervention treatments. And that could save millions of dollars every year.